We're not delivering a shot. Yeah. Why you say exhaust? So, mga atit, mga kuya, na deliver na yung Audi natin. And uh, it's not that bad. Change your plans. Let me show you what happened. So, ayan guys, oh, tignan nyo. Nakakabit na uli siya. Wala na, tigas na ulit. Na welding. It's back to normal. They fix the exhaust. See? Diretso na ulit siya, di ba? Ayos ulit. Gumaganda ulit. Magana siya ulit. Pero meron tayong change of plans. Dahil marami tayong nakuhang comments dun sa huling video natin about the Audi. And uh, tama po sila lahat. So, nakapag-isipis pa ko ng konti. And uh, susundin, susundin natin yung mga sinabi ng mga viewers po natin because it just makes 100% perfect sense. Diba? Usap tayo sa loob. Mga atit, mga kuya, welcome back to Kuya Puto's channel. So as you can see, na deliver na po yung kochi ko from the shop. Uh, I had no time to pick it up, so yung po mechanic ko, you know, he's a friend of mine, so he offered to deliver it. So yun, ayos na siya. So ano ba nga ba damage? <laughs> Dahil dun sa last video ko, you know, I got quoted $7,000, di ba? na pag-uusapan natin tsaka yung plano ko dito sa coaching to. Update lang. So guys, nung pinost ko yung uh, video about my Audi over here, $7,000 in quoted na damage, uh, repairs anyways, dahil sa kasalanan ko, dahil sumayad siya, di ba, sa, sa speed bump and a stuck done and it ripped uh, the exhaust system underneath. And on top of that, just like I mentioned dun sa huling video ko, Pag dinala nyo po yung uh, kotse ninyo sa casa or sa, sa auto shop, they find other things. And, oh my God, did they ever find more things? <laughs> Anyways, guys, you know, without further ado, yung total na chinarge sa akin ni Owen dun sa mekaniko po is $1,000. Yes, $1,000. Ano ba ginawa nila sa $1,000, Kuya Puto? Akala ko $7,000. Well, lahat po ng repairs na nandun sa quote, di ko na pinagawa. Di na. Sabi ko lang sa kanya, Owen, which is my mechanic, ayusin mo na lang para maging drivable siya. Ibig sabihin, hindi po pwedeng nakasayad yung exhaust system ko. Kailangan, it needs to be rehung back, right? Unfortunately, it was broken in many different places. <laughs> so not only did they have to fabricate some, some pipes, okay, they have to weld it in, they have to hang it, they have to make sure that there's no leaks. On top of that, I had an oil change done and I had uh, the cooling system flushed out. Regular maintenance. Lad po yun, $1,000. And that's enough to get the car back on the road. Para at least, pag binamaneho ko, hindi nakasayad yung exhaust system. And, uh, you know, it's safe. Kind of. <laughs> so, marami po mga viewers na nag-comment. And, tama po sila. I'll share some of the comments that way we can also do some shoutouts. Because I have not done that in a very long time. So, Ray Valero, 8580. Shout out to Ray Valero. Sabi po niya, I got a solution. Buy a Toyota Camry, RAV4, or Corolla. Alternative is Honda Civic, Accord, or CRV. Problem solved. Avoid German or British cars at all costs. You don't want to be saying, I just BMW, aka broke my wallet. <laughs> I love that quote po. BMW broke my wallet. Maraming salamat po, uh, Kuya Ray Valero. Tama po yung sabi niya. And I agree 100%. Kung uh, naghahanap po ako, or kayo for that matter, ng uh, daily driver, lahat po nung sinabi niya na Honda products and Toyota products, solid po yun. Just so happens, itong outing to, 
hindi ko po daily driver yan. And tama po siya. BMW broke my wallet. It's got the potential to break your wallet. As I have showed you on my previous video, di ba? And, uh, ano po kasi ganito eh. Nung binili ko to, laruan ko lang yan. Uh, di naman po sa, mag, sa nagyayabang, you know, I've always wanted this car mula pa po nung bata ako in this configuration. So, when I had the opportunity to buy it, despite of my better judgment, because I knew na pwedeng-pwedeng mangyari to as far as maintenance cost and, uh, you know, running costs and all of that. Hindi ko na po inisip yun. At that moment in time, I just wanted to make myself happy. You know, I wanted to, to be selfish for once and make something, well, one of my dreams to come true. And I did. And right now, yeah. <laughs> User OK9DY. Sabi po niya, kailangan po sa mga ganyang kotse ay regular maintenance. At saka yung tambucho ay kayo ay may kasalanan. Uh, sorry po. <laughs> I agree with you 100%. Yung pun tambucho, ako may kasalanan nun. Because, yung kochi po, when uh, I bought it, when I bought this Audi, yung suspension po niya, factory. It was my stupid idea to lower it, to slam it to the ground because I wanted that look. And I knew, nung pinalower ko po yung kochi, that there's gonna be a very, very good possibility na mangyari yun ang yun nangyari last week. And uh, it happened. That's why I'm paying for it. BMW broke my wallet. <laughs> so yes, it doesn't matter kahit gano kayo kaingat. Pag yung kotse ninyo is slammed like this, uh, mangyayari at mangyayari po yun. Hindi po may iwasan na, you know, sumayad kayo, mas scrape, or even worse, get the exhaust ripped from underneath. So, kasalanan ko po talaga yun. Tama po siya. Okay. Miss Norma. <laughs> uh, sabi po ni Miss Norma. Why do you buy those cars? And you don't even drive it all the time. Is it for your eyes only? Uh, shout out po to Miss Norma. Ganito po kasi yan. Nung pong bata ako, Napakahilig ko po talaga sa kotse dahil yung dad ko, mahilig din siya sa kotse. Minana ko siguro. Unfortunately, nung pong bata ako, you know, we came from very humble beginnings, right? And, you know, dati po hanggang tingin lang kaya kong gawin. So I promised myself one day, kung medyo may kakayanan ng konti, you know, if, if the numbers agree, gusto ko pong uh, make those dreams come true. And an opportunity showed itself several years ago na ito nag for sale. Nakita ko for sale. And I couldn't allow that opportunity to pass dahil, you know, pag meron po kayong gusto sa puso ninyo, napakatagal niya. Yung pong buhay, ano yun eh, may isilang ang buhay. You know, pasayahin niyo na sarili ninyo and that's exactly what I did. Even though I knew malaki po potential na ito maging money pit. So why do I buy cars and keep them and, you know, I don't really drive them? It's because, like I said, you know, hobby ko po yan. I'm a car guy. And lahat naman po tayo, you know, merong iba't ibang kinaliligayahan. Oh, that's deep. You know, iba, they like bags. Iba, they like food. Iba, they like toys. Iba, you know, they like, uh, you name it. Just so happens, ako po, mahilig po talaga ako sa kotse. Whenever I saw an opportunity to make a dream come true, I make it come true because, you know, like I said, buhay po may isip. Make yourself happy. Because napasin ko po, pag masaya ako, I'm more productive. Okay? And when I'm more productive, I can create more ways to, to afford things. So that's why I buy all of these cars that I don't really, really drive because Pag tinitignan ko po sila, natutuwa po yung kaluluwa ko. Alam ko mababaw pakinggan, pero totoo po yun. And pag natutuwa po yung kaluluwa ko, it motivates me to work harder. It motivates me to find more ways to be more productive. That way, you know, 
the numbers can work out. Maraming salamat po for the comment, Miss Norma. I hope I answered your question. Sabi po ni uh, Dave San 0507, too expensive po, Kuya Puto. I agree 100%. <laughs> too expensive. It does not make any sense whatsoever. So guys, by the way, I started itong uh, FB Facebook page. Kuya Puto. Uh, ito pong FB page na to, 100% sugal related content. So alam ko po marami pong nagpa-follow dito sa YouTube natin because of the sugal content that I put. And I try to mix both sugal content and Buhay Canada content. But to all of our fans, if you want more sugal content, visit niyo po yung Facebook page ni Kuya Puto. And I'm pretty sure, you know, you will be very very happy. Sabi, sabi po ni Jerson Villarico. Si Jerson po, uh, he started vlogging sa YouTube po. Uh, Kadadating po lang niya sa Canada. Check out his channel po, Gerson Villarico. Sabi po ni Gerson, Salamat po yung puto, may natutunan naman ako. Learn from my mistakes po. <laughs> Don't buy European luxury brand cars as your daily driver. If it's a toy, it's gonna make you happy and the numbers work out, do it. But, kung gagamitin niyo po daily driver, ay, nako. The repairs and the maintenance na gagastahin niyo po in order to keep this running will be more than what the sticker price was of what you paid nung binili niyo yan. Totoo yan. Master of None, 77.69, sabi, niyo, sabi po niya, benta mo na lang para hindi na sumakit ang ulo mo. Naisip ko na pong ibenta ito. Problema lang. I've had this for many years. And malapit na po sa puso ko eh. Para siyang, uh, para siyang girlfriend mo na di mo maiwanan. <laughs> you know, it does not make any sense to keep her. Pero, you know, there's something about her that makes you feel good. So, I don't know. I thought about it, but I don't think I'll do it. Ultimately, gagawin ko na lang ganito. I'm just gonna drive her until she's dead. Dahil bihira ko naman po talaga siyang uh, gamitin. Maybe once every two weeks, once a week. You know, on a Sunday afternoon, if I wanna go grocery shopping, siya po ginagamit ko. But every day, you know, nakaupo lang po siya dyan. Because, like I said, even with the other cars that, you know, I own, Pag tinitignan ko po sila, natutuwa ako. I know mababaw na, na rason yun. Pero, as I get older, I start to realize, pag masaya po yung tao, mas, mas nag increase yung motivation niya sa kakayahan niya. So, it pushes you to be more productive. It pushes you to be a better person. Pag masaya po yung tao. And ito po kasayahan ko. Alam ko mababaw, pakinggan yan. But yan po yung formula na, na ginagamit ko. Yan po yung formula na na-follow ko. And so far, it's work, right? I know it does not make any sense to keep something that you're not using. Pero sa akin po, the joy that it brings to me, it's worth it. So sana naman po, natuwa kayo. Or at least na-entertain kayo kahit konti dito sa... Update natin sa Audi. And uh, if you have not subscribed, subscribe naman po kayo sa channel ni Kuya Puto so we can grow this as big as we can. So this is Kuya Puto wishing you good night, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Stay hungry, stay humble. Keep your hustle strong. I'll see you on the next video, guys. Bye for now. Go, la, la, la,